Okay guys, GPT 4.1 is officially here. Let's test it out with my benchmark. Now, if you don't know, I have this benchmark where I create a Next.js service-based website. I'll show you exactly how I do that in this video. If you wanna join the school and find out for yourselves, first link in the description, definitely check it out. People absolutely love it. It's not just a load of links, it's actually a well thought out course. Now I did just make this video, however, halfway through I realized that I was using Gemini 2.5 Pro instead of the new model. So we have to make this one more time. So we'll call this folder GBT 4.1 um, Rolls Royce. And the idea behind this is we create a Rolls Royce service website for a client and we compare it to other Rolls Royce websites that we've made and we see whether or not it's actually good. So basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna feed these images, right? This is what GPT, this is what um, I was just doing before. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these images here. We're gonna open this folder that we just made. So it's GPT 4.1 Rolls Royce. This is following my SOP that is in on, on my school, okay? If you don't know what the hell I'm doing. So we'll call this public, call this images, and we'll paste our images here. We're now ready to feed the prompt to GPT 4.1 and we'll see how it deals with it. Now, the first time I did this, um, I did use GPT 4.1 for the plan mode, but I accidentally used um, Google Gemini 2.5 for the actual coding and it worked pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. It was actually, I was very, very impressed by the results. So that might be a whole nother video is planning with GPT and then building with 2.5, but we'll see here, right? So I really, really like uh, GPT 4.1 so far. It's very, very quick. I'm using it inside Open Router. If you don't have access to it in the API, then just get Open Router, okay? Another thing is pricing, of course. I just talked about all of this on my other video, but I had to um, <laughs> delete that video because I accidentally <laughs> um, used the wrong model. So OpenAI pricing, right? So we want to find the API pricing. You can see here, where the hell is dark mode? I don't want that person commenting saying oh my god are you blinding me how can you do this to me where is dark mode see this is why i don't have dark mode on everything guys it's hard to find i don't know how to do it so you can see here it's actually pretty cheap two dollars input eight dollars output if you don't know that's about half the price of 3.7 sonnet if this codes as well as 3.7 sonnet this is my new best in slot for coding Final thing I'm gonna do is um, give me a full uh, design uh, overview, right? GPT 4.1 mini has also been released. If this is capable of doing research in an intelligent way, a, a level of kind of, doesn't quite have to be Gemini 2.5 Pro or Sonnet, but like somewhere close to that, then this could be the way that we now do a huge amount of research, filling in CSVs, creating JSON files, in order to populate websites, all that good stuff that I've been talking about recently on the channel. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna press act, okay? We're not using any MCPs, anything fancy. This is just GPT 4.1 through Open Router. Is this going to be able to code this perfectly or are there gonna be loads of mistakes and we're gonna shit on this model? Let's find out together. So I can normally tell fairly quickly into the process whether or not this is actually going to be good or whether it's gonna be a complete fail. It seems like it's got a pretty good grasp on things so far. It does seem to be doing some pretty nice, um, it has some good ideas for sure. We'll see, we'll see how this does, okay? Now, I'm not just gonna say this model is insane. If this model is not insane, I will tell you guys that it's, it's not that good, okay? I don't want to be one of those YouTubers that's like, oh my God, it's insane. And then it's actually not good, right? We need to actually see whether it lives up to the benchmarking expectations or not. Now, this wasn't even the video that I was gonna release today, by the way, I have a much better video coming, okay? It's just obviously GPC 4.1 has just been released. So I need to make this video. That's just how the YouTube game works. Okay, so what is it that we're actually looking for here? Let me just quickly run through that. Let me get dark mode. I don't want any more bloody dark mode comments. I'm so sorry for not using dark mode on all, all my applications. We're looking for the use of font, right? We're looking for the use of images, the use of color. The main thing is, are there any errors, 
right? Because if there are errors, that is normally an indicator that the model is not very good, right? And that it's not really worth our time, okay? Other things that we're looking for are just like how good the website looks. If I go on Rolls Royce Rent, right? This was the actual website that I created uh, or the AI created for my old boss, right? I think this looks amazing. I don't think a professional or me as a professional website designer could have done any better, right? All of this kind of worked straight off the bat. Overall, it was a very, very good experience using Claude Sonic 3.7. That was on the day of release of 3.7. It has got worse in my opinion, but does this model get close to that or is it complete trash, right? Another thing is, is this model Quasar Alpha or uh, whatever it was called, Alpha... The hell was that model called? Yeah, it, it, it's gone, right? I think this was that model, um, Optimus Prime or whatever the hell it was called. If this works first time with no errors in it, I'm going to be extremely impressed and I'm going to call this possibly the best model right now. It's also very cheap, okay? It's a cheap model. There are even cheaper models here to play with. If you're doing huge amounts of research, like I'm talking thousands and thousands of lines of a CSV, then definitely I would be looking at um, their other models as well, okay? I use GPT-40 Mini in the past for a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna lie, that model did always impress me. Oh, it also has a million context, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Where is the, what, what's the cutoff point? That's what I wanna know next. Oh, right, refreshed cut off of June 2024. Surely not, that's terrible. Why? Why would they do that? Why? <sighs> Google, in my opinion, 2.5 Gemini is where it's at, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm not calling it until I've seen it, but I am a little bit disappointed by um, the cutoff of June 2024. I like the 1 million context window though, but yeah, not a huge fan of the cutoff point. Okay, that was pretty mad. It just passed an NPM run build without a single TypeScript error. Uh, I've never seen that before. That's crazy. So it just created all of those pages as well, I believe. I don't know where they went, but let's see if this actually worked. This is looking pretty promising. I cannot believe it just did that. There wasn't a single TypeScript error. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. Okay, no matter what, that is impressive. I cannot believe that it just... Um, it just did that. I've never seen that before. Okay, the website's terrible. There's obviously some, <laughs> obviously some kind of CSS problem here. We'll, we'll give it one more chance here and just send this and show that there's a problem with the CSS. Seems to be an issue with the CSS. Please check what it says. I think it was because it created this uh, My Next app and it put other things in. I think it just got a little bit confused. Next time, I'll just allow it to make its own um, application. Let's see if it can fix this error itself. Overall, it does seem like a pretty strong model. Um, I need to maybe change the way my... Um, I need to change the benchmark that I'm doing slightly because it. I think it confuses models that I've already created, the Next.js folder. Let's see if that worked. Okay, this is the final result. I mean, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It looks different to the other, obviously. He's all 404 for some reason. Let's see if the switcher works. It does seem to be working, the switcher. There are definitely some problems here. Overall, I would say this is a pretty good model. It's cheaper than 3.7 and it can pretty much, it, it can keep it can make you a website, right? Which is the important thing. It can keep up with those models. Now it does look like there might be a little bit more bug fixing required. Um, so I can do like slash services is for reporting. Also send these errors. Maybe it can fix them quickly just so that we can see what these pages look like. Also, it didn't use the images properly just because um, they were in the old folder and it made its own next JS uh, project. So if I actually just, if I drag these from here and put them into my next app, I think that should 
actually fix the images, potentially. But yeah, I think I'll leave the video there, guys. This seems like it's worth our time, at least. The fact that it's um, so cheap is definitely a positive, right? Okay, so this has drained all of my open router tokens. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. It's definitely up there, okay? In my opinion, this is what... Um, this model here, Optimus Alpha, in my opinion, it was actually GPT 4.1. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I would say this is up there with Gemini and with um, Sonic 3.7 for cheaper. So it's definitely worth it for doing intelligent tasks. Thank you for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're not so legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.